My dudes, what's going on? You probably clicked this because you want some juicy gains for trapping. Well, look no further. I'll cover the basics, and near the end, I'll give you some more advanced tips to help you get bigger and better traps. But before we start, you probably have heard of the IBA, but have you heard of the BIA? That's right, we have officially a brand new sister guild in Ilon. So you guys want to join the main guild or some dedicated people to help the sister guild flourish? Come on down to the Discord and sign up today in the guild sign up channel. Everything will be in a pinned comment below. Also, if you guys don't know, I also stream on Twitch with that saucy idol on stream action. From Gains to Gamba, IBA and BIA know what's good. Anyways, let's get into it. So let's start off with the basics. What is trapping? Trapping is the hunter skill for World 3. With a trap box equipped, you can begin trapping by going to the critter spawn area and place a trap. A higher tier trap you have means more traps you can put down. Also, with Call Me Ash Big Alchemy Bubble allows you to put one more extra trap down. Also, you only need the bubble equipped when placing. After that, you can take it off and the trap will stay. You can unlock more critters by doing the trap request line in World 3, which is the left portal from the town hub. You have three stats to consider. Trapping Efficiency, Trapping XP, and Shiny Critter Chance. Let's talk about placing a trap. You can place traps in all characters, which you should do. But when placing a trap, the only stats are considered quote-unquote snapshotted is Trapping Efficiency and Trapping XP. Shiny Critter Chance is for when you collect traps. So how you want to set up your cards when placing traps is you only want enough efficiency to hit the threshold for extra critters. If you can't hit the threshold for extra critters, that's when you use your trapping XP and the main staff for trapping is agility. Also, if you're looking for efficiency thresholds for extra critters, I'll leave a link to the Eidolon wiki in the pinned comment below so you can see for yourself. So an example for placing a trapping build would be Easy Resource Card, Crabo, Scorpy, Dung Beetle, Honker, Chaotic Ephon, and Chaotic Troll. If you don't have these cards, some alternatives could be agility cards. If you want some easy extra gains as well, you could equip Skill Dimwit and Unending Energy Prayer, and you could unequip after placing the trap because these will also be snapshotted. Note, Bowman Efficiency Skill and Specialized Skill for XP also counts for trapping. Different traps give different bonuses. For example, a natural trap will give you much more XP, but less critters and shinies. And a silk skin trap will give you way less XP, but much higher chance at shinies. Also, each trap will have multiple durations. For instance, silk skin can have 20 minutes or even up to a few days. Choose what works for you. My personal experience, if you are a daily player, set a trap for 20 hours so you treat it like a daily. You only have to worry about it once a day. The extra stat in the trap changes with the time you set. Be careful though, it is not proportional, sometimes bigger times mean less gains. Locations for all critters can be found at Rogues, which is Jungle Perimeter, Crabo, which is Salty Shores, Scorpio, which is The Ring, Mousy, Rat's Nest, Alio, Hollow Trunk, Pingy, The Stash Spit, Bunny, Thermonuclear Climb, Dung Beetle is at Ephon's Tomb, Honker is at Wham Wonderland, and Blobfish is at the Coco Tunnel. Now let's talk about collecting. Now there are two ways you can collect manually, which is going to every trap with every character and collecting them one by one, which I do not suggest. This method because it takes way too long and it's a pain to do. The other way is the hunter talent known as Eagle Eye, which collects everybody's traps at a reduced rate, so less XP and less critters, but you can upgrade it to 100 and then you could also book it from the library so higher level means less reduced rates. Even up to full critter gain and nearly full XP with other things that help you that we'll talk about later in the video. Which is the optimal route for not wanting to put your head through your monitor. There is also the trapping drone but I'll explain later as well. Now this is where shiny critters come in. When collecting, you have a percent chance to collect a shiny critter, which is a rare variant used in a multitude of different crafting items. Now, when collecting on your hunter, you want a complete different setup than placing. You'll be running full shiny critter chance percent, which comes from frog card, mousy, pingy, and blobfish. You also have a skilling food called critter num nums, which will increase the amount of critters gained. Also have a prayer called shiny snitch, which gives you a bundle of 20 shiny critters instead of just one. But be careful, the curse is your shiny chance is lowered by times 15, and that's just at level 1. The hunter ability you want to focus on when collecting is called Reflective Eyesight, which gives you a time shiny chance and triggers again every 10 trapping levels. So a setup example for collecting would be as follow. It doesn't matter what your card set is. A Froge, Mousy, 
Pangy, and Blobfish cards with, with card drop chance if you still need them for your sets. With Running Critter Num Nums for food and Shiny Snitch for prayer, use this skill Eagle Eye and collect all and easy peasy, put them in your storage. The most confusing part about trapping is placing, not so much about collecting. Now that we've covered collecting and placing, it's time for the meat, for the juice, how to get the chonky gains. You have three stamps that will increase trapping. You have purple frog stamp for sh percent shiny chance, Heidi box stamp, which will give you base efficiency, and spike mount stamp, which will give you trapping XP percent. There's four vials for alchemy, orange malt vial, which gives you shiny chance, Poison Tincture, which increases the amount of critters you get from Eagle Eye. For a Refresher, which is also Shiny Chance. And Goosey Glug, which gives you an extra base critter per trap. Three bubbles to focus on for Alchemy. You have Green Bubble number 6, which is Sonic Tools that gives trap percent more skilling power than normal. You have Green Big Bubble called Call Me Ash, which gives an extra placeable trap and increases trapping efficiency and Green Bubble 10, which gives you a multiplier of more likely to catch shinies when opening a trap. There are trapping ovals, the silver one specifically, which I would suggest for Hunter, but you could do it on other characters if you want more trapping power. There is a constellation for Hydron, which is the second tab of the constellation, which is plus 20% critters and traps and plus 10 trap efficiency. Also, in the post office, there's a trapping box, which gives you trapping efficiency, trapping XP, and critters trapped. Also, there is Trapping XP and Shiny Crater Chance in the Arcade Golden Ball Shop on rotation. Now that's everything covered, I know it was a mouthful. Let's give you guys a reward. Give you some tips and tricks to help make it a trapping, not feel so monotonous. In construction, there's a building that you can make called Trapper Drone, which makes it so you can do all your placing and collecting in the same place. And the more you upgrade the drone, the more critters you get. Note, this is based on your max level of Eagle Eye, so higher Eagle Eye, better drone even on non-hunters who use it. Placing your traps via drone saves walking around the world forever. If you're looking to level up trapping fast on a specific character, you can actually go to one of the trap places and use XP balloons to level up your trapping. You only have to be standing on it for it to be calculated into trapping. If you don't have the resources, but you have the trapping level, you can swap your highest tier trap to each of your characters if they have the level. So you technically only need one huge trap for all 10 of your characters. Huge pain, but it's good if you're on a budget. If you manage to get the spice that unlocks sea urchin in the kitchen, you can get it to increase critters from traps. Refer to my breeding guide to help you with spices. Spice optimization will come in the future video where I'll show you the best setup and how to set up foragers for their spice gains. There's also chips in the lab that increase base efficiency and efficiency percent and skill. So if you do manage to have those chips equip them before placing traps, there's also a jewel, but I mean, who has the gems for that? Dudes, I need to sit down after this video. I lack oxygen. There's so many things to cover. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a hot minute since I've released a guide, but hopefully it will help you just a little bit more on your Eidolon adventure. Kind of confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it'll come second nature. Thank you so much for watching, and if you watch to the end, you might be a certified Giga Chat. Make sure to comment to ask any questions or tell me what you think. And the comment for the video is this one. So thank you for commenting, dude. Like and subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications and helps with the algorithm. And you know what? Makes me a damn happy man. Like I said at the beginning, join the Discord to get into the guild, the IBA or the BIA. Everything is a pinned comment below. Tune in for the next Eidolon video. Stay safe, happy grinding, and peace out.